Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to actually explain about the Apache Eagle. It's actually a product from eBay Corporation. Uh, it's an open source monitoring solution which actually identifies the access to any sensitive data in big data uh, systems. And if there is any malicious activities, it actually raises the alerts and uh, displays a statistical report of those alerts to the user. Uh, not only like analyzing or um, actually identifying the access to those kind of sensitive data, it also stops the intruder from accessing such kind of data or performing such kind of attacks. Uh, basically, it was actually start. It this project was started in uh, 2013, uh, but completed in October 2015, and it was actually. Um, given to Apache incubator uh, from eBay Corporation. Uh, a work in progress model for this is actually available uh, in the GitHub and you can actually go through the, I mean, whatever the code snippets you have in GitHub. Uh, basically in eBay Corporation, uh, people in eBay are actually working on the data sets like Kafka, HBase, and HDFS. Uh, basically, as you can see, like Eagle consists of three main modules, which is the first one is like an data collection, and second one is like uh, performing the policy operations onto the data and checking if there is any intruder attack, and third one is if there is any attack, then alert the user. Uh, coming to the use cases in Apache Eagle. Uh, basically, we do have four kinds of uh, main use cases which are actually implemented in Apache Eagle. The first one is like anomalous data access detection based on user behavior. So um, if a particular user of a certain kind who is not authorized or who is who generally doesn't uh, go through a set of data and he tries to access that kind of data, then it's actually an anomaly detection. Uh, for suppose you can take an example of a person from a financial department accessing a marketing data. So usually he doesn't do uh, the data access on a marketing data, but if he tries to do it, then someone from his credentials is actually uh, trying to access it. So we can actually assume it in that way. Um, and the second one is a, a discovery of intrusions and security breaches. Uh, so this would be based on like unauthorized access. Um, with, uh, each user is actually given a particular set of uh, user profile. So in which he's, he, can, he could actually access a particular kind of data. Uh, and if he exceeds his limits and actually accesses other data, then it, it's uh, like a security breach. And prevention of sensitive data loss, if someone tries to delete a particular set of amount of data, which is actually set by the uh, organization, like one, pet of, one terabyte of data or one petabyte of data, uh, then it would be actually a huge loss to the organization. So such kind of sensitive data losses could be actually stopped using Apache Eagle. Uh, and like policy based detection, uh, a particular kind of set of policies could be actually defined and based on which actually an alert could be raised if that particular policy is violated. Uh, this is actually the architectural diagram of Apache Eagle. So it actually consists of the Hive HDFS auditing and security module and the HDF, HDFS archive. So basically, uh, we do have like as discussed HDFS and Hive uh, data sets. So basically HDFS data set is actually accessed through the Kafka, which is actually the message bus and the Hive query logs are uh, directly could be accessed by the stream processing engine. Uh, the main part which plays here is the stream processing engine, uh, which uses actually Storm, Apache Storm. So uh, the Apache people have actually built an abstraction layer over the Apache Storm so that the, it would be convenient for the user uh, not knowing more details about like stream processing and all. So he can actually set up the policies 
um, and then like uh, run whatever the alerts he want to run on those policies. So we do have metadata manager which actually defines those policies and uh, we, these policies are embedded into the uh, stream processing engine this is, which is a storm. We do have a remediation engine which uh, is actually built upon the Apache Ranger. This engine actually is responsible for stopping all such kind of attacks uh, from being happening. If a particular user who is not privileged to do a particular kind of access or a deletion, then uh, immediately the Apache Ranger actually discontinues or uh, stops his privilege, stops his access and abrupts the uh, whatever the task he's gonna perform. Uh, we do have machine learning training module which is actually used for the anomaly detection um, and to create the user profiles. This actually uh, basically like Apache Eagle right now is using like two main machine learning algorithms which is the uh, like Eigen, Eigen value decomposition algorithm and the other one is a density based evaluation. So uh, all these kind of data or all these kind of alerts could actually be stored in a particular data set and a, re a real time dashboard could be generated and which could be seen by the security analyst. So uh, this like actually uh, develops a customized view of whatever the alerts be uh, have been produced in a particular period. So um, uh, whatever the modules we have discussed in the architectural diagram, like the processing engine, which is the storm. And we do have another processing engine, which actually processes the static data. That's the Apache Spark uh, in, in case of Apache Eagle. Um, and we do have an alerting framework, uh, which actually produces the alerts to the user. And um, this is basically divided into like two main um, things. Uh, one is the policy engine and the other one is the policy practitioner engine. So basically you can actually develop nested policies uh, for, a, uh, for a single uh, uh, task which needs to be performed. So you can actually use a uh, policy practitioner framework which actually divides your policies into uh, consequent subsets and then performs the alerting uh, function onto that. Uh, we do have a machine learning module uh, uh, which actually uh, describes or denotes the user profiles uh, and actually gives uh, the details about uh, whatever the data which could be accessed by individual user. And coming to the data classification module, this actually defines the importance of a particular data. So for example, you can actually um, treat a particular set of phone numbers which should be only accessed by the main committee members or the main boards and not by other users in your uh, uh, company. So based on the like data importance or data priority, you can actually classify the data. And we do have a policy manager, as you can see over here, uh, like in this, like we have actually defined the sensitivity of a phone number and then uh, a policy. This is a policy which is being defined by the uh, onto the stream manager. And uh, uh, then coming to the query service, uh, this actually defines a particular set of alerts for different kinds of uh, policies which have been uh, defined already. Um, then we do have this machine learning module as I've already discussed like uh, for the static, static data analysis Apache Eagle people are using Spark and uh, for the dynamic data analysis uh, these people are using actually Storm. Uh, uh, this actually defines you the flow which actually is performed throughout this machine learning modules. Uh, the main features of Apache Eagle are like it's real time because it produces results in a uh, less than like uh, milliseconds and then it's scalable because it can be um, upgraded onto any number of clusters and it's ease of use because like if you just plug in and you can actually uh, set the policies using the UI or uh, using any API. Uh, and then we have the user profiling, which actually uh, helps in finding out the anomalies uh, in a better way. 
because like each set of user is given a set of profile and a, pro a set of data which could be accessed only by, the, by that particular user. So this actually uh, gives a very good advantage of finding out the anomalies in an easier way. And it's an open source, so you need not pay anything. And it's actually extensible because like uh, the, right now Apache people are actually working on to embed a few more like uh, machine learning algorithms onto this. So like in the next few versions, we can actually expect it to be more powerful. <laughs> um, and coming to the comparisons with existing tools, uh, like previously, like I've told you, this is the security related tool. So basically in market, uh, we do have Apache Ranger, which is another security related tool, but it actually just monitors and manages the se data security across the Hadoop cluster. So there is no uh, machine learning algorithm or anomaly detection, intrusion uh, detection systems, which, he, which are actually embedded in Apache Ranger, uh, which could actually be uh, uh, used onto the HDFS audit records. Uh, so it's like a new tool which has come into the market. And basically like uh, Apache Eagle internally uses Apache Ranger as you have seen in the architectural diagram. And Apache Ranger internally uses the Hadoop security task uh, uh, and it actually um, secures the data or abrupts the authoritative, authoritative uh, commands onto an intruder. So um, the companies which which are using right, Eagle right now are eBay and PayPal. eBay for sure because it's the uh, actually the producer of uh, Eagle. So like in eBay right now, um, Eagle monitors like 2,500 clusters of Hadoop data, and basically like um, data loss or sensitive data being copied or sensitive data being accessed and um, copying the data onto unsecured locations all these kind of policies uh, which are the basic uh, stuff are being carried out in ebay uh, basically as i have told you like uh, there are only two varieties of data sets which are being used in ebay uh, and those are like hdfs and hive data uh, these people are actually working on to integrate more and different versatilities of data and perform these kind of evaluations on such kind of heterogeneous data. So, uh, I mean, uh, the policies based on user profiles uh, are generated by using the machine learning algorithms. We actually discussed about it. Uh, and the work in progress features of Eagle are like whitelisting. Uh, this actually defines a set of uh, data or a set of uh, URLs or are a set of um, things which could actually be performed by a user. So it's like if there is any anomaly, then these people are actually finding it out. But uh, what are the set of actual rules uh, which could be followed by a particular set of people? So these kind of things they are actually working on. And the state management, uh, basically it's like uh, there is no hard rule that if there is any fault occurs, on the storm database, uh, on the storm node cluster or the HDFS node cluster, then uh, all the data logs are gone from that uh, node. So these people are actually working on, on maintaining that state or main, maintaining those logs of the, uh, of the, I mean, uh, data which is data node which which is lost. And uh, then coming to data skew problem. Uh, basically, uh, like we we could actually partition the data based on any field. So if there is um, any imbalance in the data which is partitioned, then a, a node could actually have a more kind of uh, I mean more kind of analysis to be performed, and a, a node could perform only very less kind of analysis. So this is the data skew problem which is actually they are working on. And in computation skew problem, they actually divide the data onto policy. So based on the, uh, I mean, hardness of the policy, uh, the again, the data could be actually divided into unequal partitions. So Hadoop cluster monitoring is one more like attractive thing which Eagle people are working on. 
uh, it's like uh, they would actually provide some statistics about all the nodes in the Hadoop cluster and they would actually give details about uh, which kind of nodes are actually failing more or what kind of nodes are actually error prone and all such kind of details which could actually help uh, the people to understand more about uh, the nodes and like if a particular node is actually failing for a longer time then actually they can understand that uh, it's i mean there is some problem with the node so these are the references which i have used you can actually browse this uh, youtube link which is the official uh, i mean promotion for the apache eagle uh, this has been i mean you can actually follow this link and thank you so much